It is easy to ignore the main story of Watch Dogs Legion and just go down the rabbit hole of chasing new recruits to add to the Dead Set Collective. In this video, we're going to briefly show you some of our favorite characters that we've found so far and give you a quick breakdown of how to collect powerful, eccentric, and useful recruits to make the most out of your team of anti-fascist hackers. It won't stop! Sleep! I'll command you. So how does recruiting work? For starters, nearly every character you come across in London is a potential recruit, even the members of the private military that have taken over the city. You don't necessarily have to find people if you don't want to. The game does give you a steady stream of team members as you complete missions and liberate areas of London, like this super spy who owns a car that cloaks and fires missiles. My starting character was an kicking granny that could camouflage like the Predator. But much of the fun in Legion comes from finding random people to join the cause as you go through the city. As you wander London, you can scan people to see what their traits are. Take it from us, there are some good reads in there. If you see someone you like, first make sure they approve of DeadSec with this handy thumbs up, thumbs down indicator. If they don't like DeadSec, you'll have to build up enough tech points to unlock the Deep Profiler. Honestly, if recruiting is your thing, the Deep Profiler is a must. It also gives you second chances if you blow recruiting missions. Once you've added someone to your potential recruits list, you'll need to do a mission or two to gain their favor. Missions we've seen so far are pretty varied, but can involve a rescue, a delivery, or just getting rid of bad folks. The first recruits you meet will typically have two traits, and some of them are pretty hilarious. Seriously, there are people who can't stealth because they fart too much. While the game randomly generates people for you to recruit, there are archetypes that they fall under. For example, if you recruit a construction worker, they're able to casually walk around any private construction site without triggering suspicion unless they get very close to a guard. Other recruits are expert hackers and can nab access keys that open doors from great distances. There are a series of fighting pits around London and you'll definitely want to go find someone with fighting skills, like the ability to deliver staggering counter punches. The more pit fights you win, the more brawlers you add to your roster. As you progress in the game, you'll start to see more powerful recruits, indicated by a colored circle over their head. These higher level recruits will have multiple skills, so definitely stop and check them out. But the best part is finding some really fun, oddball, or unique recruits. We've come across a 70-year-old dominatrix that has a spiked bat. Get that stick out of your ass and boogie! A gold-painted performance artist who can collect tips while at work, a cosplayer and a street magician who can hypnotize people into a frenzy. Hey, presto! It's a zombie apocalypse! What are you Fight. doing? There are also some less practical skills, like dancing for small amounts of currency and getting drunk before a fight. Every day and... Oh! Oh, those pints are hitting me. The more we wander London, the more interesting characters we're coming across. Hopefully we gave you a quick idea of what recruiting's like, and we definitely want to hear about the weird people you run into. There's a lot more to talk about, so head on over to GameSpot to watch more videos, including a whole lot of next-gen coverage. Thanks for watching.